my favorite day is Tuesday. Enjoy some peanut butter fudge today. Very good, because tomorrow is Wednesday. All right, guys, let's start from the beginning of the week. <laughs> Now, me, Bosco, and Albert will. His name is Drip Master. <laughs> it was the face for me. He just goes, he goes. Good morning, Central. Us as a newscast would like to share something. In the past few months, Asian hate crimes have been on the rise in the United States. These hate crimes have gone up 150% in the past year. Central Crossing is a zero tolerance school building. This being said, we as a news team and as a school community are stepping up to stop Asian hate. If you see something, say something, and let's make sure we treat everyone with respect. Well, on that serious note, let's go to John with the weather. Thanks Eli for that information. So for our weather, our high will be 47 and our low will be 32. The skies are going to be bright with some sun and with a slight breeze as well. But for tomorrow, it will be 57 for our high and 30 for our low. Sunday, it will be 61 for our high and 34 for our low. And both days are also going to be sunny, so look forward to that. That's all I got for you guys today on TV Hunter. So we have more Sadie Stortz news. Last week in Sadie Stortz participated in the semifinals for Instaband contest run by Grove U here in Columbus. She produced a video of two original songs she wrote, and today she needs boasts. First, listen up to a small piece of one of her songs. Sweet dreams this time when I close my eyes. I want them to be filled with someone other than you. High hopes always come crashing down in the end But I guess if you want, we can play pretend No, nothing ever changes Cause the days keep getting longer And the nights keep getting colder You need to go, go back home Way far away I can't stay here anymore There's not enough room not enough room for all your fake I love you Wow, that was fantastic. So right now, take a minute and vote for Sadie. To do that, go to YouTube, then type in Central Crossing News. Click on today's show and our description will have a link for you to vote on. If you would please ever be so kind, please do that right now while it's still fresh in your brain. Let's help a fellow comment be great. I'll vote right now. Now let's get into some senior news. Congratulations class of 2021. The time has come for you to verify the spelling of your name for your diploma. Whatever is an infinite campus will be the way your diploma reads and your diploma must reflect your full legal name. If you have any corrections, email Ms. Hickey by Monday. Next, seniors. You can now vote for your senior superlatives and submit your senior quotes in the Google form in your cohort classroom. The form closes at spring break. <laughs> Votes and quotes are due next Friday. So seniors, be sure to get those senior quotes and superlative votes in right now. You on we only have 46 submissions. Well, let's get into some end season sports. First, we have congrats to send to the softball team. They won their scrimmage Wednesday night against Madison Plains 9-3. Awesome win, ladies. There are no games scheduled for tonight, but tomorrow we have the boys baseball going up against Tays Valley at Tays Valley. And the softball team goes head-to-head -head with New Lexington at home. So good luck to all the Comet athletes this weekend. Now I have some fall sporting news. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., the Central Crossing football team will have an annual combine and champions breakfast. Anyone who has interest in playing for the football comments next year is invited. We will test athletes in several different events as well as at other activities. If you have any questions, please contact either Coach White or Coach Bender. Also in the fall sports news, for those athletes interested in playing volleyball this fall, 
There was a meeting earlier this week. If you missed that meeting, please see Coach Fuller in room 225 for more information. And cheer conditioning has begun and runs every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5. Plan to meet in the athletic hallway. Please remember that for all sports, before you can practice or compete, you must have a current physical on file and a completed and signed blue emergency card and a completed and signed COVID-19 waiver form. Now on to Ohio sporting news. Last night, the Columbus Blue Jackets played the Carolina Hurricanes in Nationwide Arena and pulled off the overtime win with the late overtime goal from defenseman Seth Jones. The stats for last night was Seth Jones with two goals, including the overtime, and Kevin Steenland scored one. Oliver Borkstrand assisted every single one of those goals last night. And goalie Jonas Corposalo went 25 for 27, only letting two pucks pass him for the night. Now let's move on to some comment kindness. Today we have Mrs. Worley. Listen up. Good morning. I'd like to give a shout out to Shannon Addis. Shannon is the 11th grader who has lockout and signs in with me in the mornings on green days. Shannon is friendly, personable, and polite. We have talked about how hard school is this year and what some of the challenges are. What I admire about Shannon is she is not giving up. She is searching and finding ways to do things better and asking for help when she needs it. Her perseverance is a trait she's learned as a comet this year and will go with her into adulthood. Great job, Shannon, being an advocate for yourself. And I love seeing you in the morning. Everybody have a great day. Congratulations, Shannon. You proved that what a comment should be and everyone in the building appreciates you. Next, because we know everyone does their part around here, uh, we're going to roll a wheel to celebrate some random students. We're starting freshmen and sophomores. Roll that wheel. Congratulations. Now let's roll the wheel for our juniors and seniors. Here we go. Roll that wheel. Congratulations to all of you. Today we celebrate you. Thanks to each of you and everyone for showing the virtues of a comment. You are respectful, responsible, and take time to recognize each other's accomplishments. Plus, comments are resilient. Well, that's all from us today. Have an amazing weekend, comments. Bye, enjoy the weekend. After this weekend, there are only three days left of school before spring break. So keep it together until then. You can do this. Have a great day, Central. Oh, and by the way, you guys should enjoy some chocolate caramels today because it is National Chocolate Caramel Day. So enjoy those chocolates today, Central, because uh, I know I will. Have a great day. <laughs>